Hey guys, want to bring back with another NACA Hellraiser Series 2 figure review. This is on Barbie. Uh, no, this is not a female Cenobite, but the reason why they call him Barbie is because of the barbed wire that is around his head and his chest area. And if you couldn't really see that that well, I'll bring in the alternative head. Hey, you can really see it now. So that is why they call him Barbie. Uh, that's his alternative head. Uh, never saw this one in the movie, so not sure what this is. It looks like some type of spray or something. And this is the fire that he can breathe out using this can. And you slide the fire into the mouth like that. That is how I have it displayed in, or on my shelf. So, I'll give you a quick 360. There are a lot of uh, straps down there, which look pretty cool. They look better in person than they do on the camera. The back of the head is pretty plain, except for a little bit of blood, which is kind of getting picked up on the camera. Yeah, there's not that much blood on the head. They could have did a little bit better with that. But, anyway guys, I'll be right back with the alternative head on. Okay guys, so I'm back, and that's Barbie with the alternative head, as well as the can in her hand with, in his hand, sorry, and the fire coming out of his mouth. Um... I prefer this one a little bit better, because like all of the Hellraiser figures, they don't have anything exciting about them. They ju they're just there to be looked at with their detail and their paint applications. But this one has something that you can look at and do with. Personally, um, it works out better displaying it on a shelf with a bunch of others without the fire, but I've learned... Or I managed to do that without moving any other figures around. What I do basically is I just kind of turn it like this. So it looks like it's coming towards the Pillar of Souls. I like that. I like it like that on my shelf. But. So I'm going to give this figure a 3. The reason why is because the details there. But for articulation, I'll show you, it's just upper arm rotation, wrist swivel, and waist rotation. The head doesn't really swivel too much because it's hindered by the collar. So you really just have five points of articulation. Six if you count the head, but the head doesn't really work that great, like I said, because of the collar. So those are the reasons why I'm going to stick with that rating. Remember to like, favorite, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.